Basi karibuni katika semina yetu ya siku ya leo Mungu akaweze kutubariki na ninatangaza kwamba katika jina la baba na la mwana la roho mtakatifu semina now is officially opened ninaomba sasa kualika our speaker come forward chairman Katie Kiti ya katikati thank you very much karibu mchungaji Sijui kama tutaweza tolewa hii maua hapa na nifunika kuona nyuso. Asha simutanisaidia. I'm trying to run away from church setup. Uh, Francis. Hata ile kapo imekaa kule. I'm trying to run away from church setup. Kindly to siende kanisa kwa setup. Uh, nyuma ya hawa unaweza leta kiti chako mkae nyuma ya hawa shida ni kwa sababu tuletandika viti vidogo watu wakavigiria kuna high table lakini hatuna high table kindly so ikiwa unaweza kuama exactly create another line behind them si lazima hata kwa meza nyuma yao hata upande huu because tunataka tukaribiane kabisa so ashas wale mtanisaidia pale itakuwa ni baraka sana Iza, in terms of hapo nyuma wale wanakuja mnawekea viti mnaweza panga viti laini nyuma ya hawa si lazima mtu awe na meza mbele yake <laughs> couples ama ni jamii so if you have seats zimepangwa utapanga watu my policy is uh, nikiwa Nairobi you don't let people come sit where they want. You arrange them where they have to sit. So kama ujaweka kiti usimzumbue mtu. So wacha viti vilepe ndio Asha akiambia watu viti viko pale watakuwa na hiyo namna. Na utafaidika sana kunikaribia na utafaidika zaidi kuwa karibu na mimi kwa sababu itaweza kuwa utaona hapa na vile vile nitajaribu ku reduce sauti. I not sure you want that heavy voice. I will try to do that and thank you for moderating that. Just keep it low. Thank you. Tafadhali tuko kanisani Asha si wakikuambia usongee unasonga kidogo eh. <laughs> na tuko na wake zetu na waume zetu. Kwa hivyo all of us are grown ups. Thank you Asha for that work. I appreciate that task. Basi chama ningetaka nichukue nafasi hii pamoja na mwenye, naibu wa mwenyekiti pamoja na watumishi ambao umetoka mazoezini uh, karibuni sana wachungaji wenzangu watu wa Mombasa Central niwekee mkono hivi kama unaniona Bwana Yesu asifiwe Nisalimie tena salamu ya miaka tatu watu jaonana Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Bwana wabariki sana Ningetaka niombe tuweze kufanya mambo matatu leo kabla tujaanza jambo la kwanza uh, ningeomba kwamba tukisha kuanza semina hii nitaomba kila mtu arrest simu yake yani simu yako uiweke vizuri haitakuwa vizuri kuamuka kuchukua simu unless uko na emergency sababu tunaongea mambo ya kindani sana ya jamii so simu tafadhali handle them correctly jambo la pili Nitaomba tukianza mkutano huu huamishe mawazo yako. Huamishe mawazo yako kwa ukimbiaji. Niamishe yangu kutoka Kabarak. Huamishe yako kwa biashara yako na tujiweke mahali hapa kwa sababu ya kufundishwa na Mungu. Wangapi wanako tayari kufundishwa na Mungu? Mimi niko tayari kufundishwa. Wana wabariki sana. Kwa hivyo hamisha mawazo yako. Jambo la tatu. Ningekuomba tafadhali kwa mkutano huu Usitumie mkutano huu kuanza ku judge ndoa yako. Tumia mkutano huu ujenge ndoa yako. Kuna watu ambao wakikaa chini anasema hapo tumefail, hata hapo tumeanguka. Hata anangusa mwenzake anamwambia unaona na shida kukuambia si unasikia sasa. Tafadhali huu si mkutano wa kufanya makesi. 
huu ni mkutano ambao tumeandaa tuweze kufundishwa pamoja Jambo la nne ningeomba tafadhali muniruhusu niwaletee salamu za mke wangu ambao tumemaliza kuongea na watoto wangu nimekuta dada yangu ndugu yangu Francis nimeona juzi tulikuwa natembea hapa kwake tukiwa na watoto wadogo na chama alikuwa ananiuliza huyu huyu driver wangu na mwita driver wangu wa jana alikuwa ananiuliza watoto wamefika wapi nikamwambia uzee umeingia kwa mwili um, so my wife pastor Lilian ametuma salamu zake na watoto wetu watatu wametuma salamu zao naomba muzipokee kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Mke wangu kama wale mnavyojua ni mchungaji kama mimi analisema ni asalimie Penina I think kuna vitu zingine alikuwa anatuma nitume kwa Penina nitatuma baadaye kibinafsi uh, wamekutania mikutano ya kasarani na ingine. Um, kijana wetu ambao tulikuwa nakuja kwa ndugu Francis akiwa kijana mdogo sasa yuko chuoni cha university mwaka wa kwanza msichana pia amefaulu ataingia mwezi wa tisa chuoni Alafu tuna kijana mdogo tulizaa kule nyuma si kama kuna kapo si hapa mulizaa mtoto mmoja misplaced huko nyuma tu alitokea somewhere anybody like us yani mmeokoka nyote hiyo kiwango ni mimi peke yangu tu <laughs> mimi na mke wangu tulikuwa na mabishano mimi nilimwambia ningefurahia kuwa na watoto wawili ile ya, wan, ya wanaume wanafikiria eh? lakini mke wangu akasema angefurahia kuwa na wanne sasa katika kuchumbiana atu, tulikuwa tunashauriwa na washauri waliokuwa na utaalamu wakatuambia hiyo ni sawa lakini muwe na mawazo mazuri na murudi muketi muongee na tulipoongea tukakaa tukawa na wale watoto wawili tena kama mukamba nikabarikiwa kuwa na mvulana na msichana nikafikiri chapter closed lakini baada ya miaka kumi. baada ya miaka kumi, kijana anayeitwa Joshua akatokea tulikwenda huko kunaitwa Kabra tulikuwa nafanya kazi Nairobi milimani na baada kidogo tukahamishwa kule Nakuru tukabarikiwa na kijana kwa hivyo tuko na wafulana wawili e, kijana wangu ni wa 22 years now msichana ni wa 20 years na kuna mvulana ambao anaelekea standard 4 grade 4 na sisi tunamfurahia kwa sababu ndio ndio kitinda mimba lakini ndiye furaha ya jamii yetu kwa hivyo wote waliniambia nikifika nisalimiane. Mnapokea salamu zao. Wana wabariki. Vile vile kuna marafiki wa Kabarak wengi ambao waliniambia nikifika mahali hapa niwaletee salamu Mombasa. Hatujaonana kwa muda mrefu. Mnapokea salamu za Nakuru. Ningetaka nishukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwanza kwa kunihifadhi na kuniwisha katika moyo wangu. Ninajaribu kuangalia polepole nikisalimiana niweze kujua nitaingilia wapi. Kwa maana ningekuwa mbaraki ningekuwa nimeinua mikono na kusema haleluya kwa sababu nilikuwa pale muda sio mbali kutoka sasa. Ningekuwa shanzu ningeinua mikono haraka maana mwaka huu pia nimekuwa shanzu. Lakini najaribu kuangalia ni nani kuna watu walienda na covid kuna watu walibaki nilikuwa najaribu kuona makanisa iko na muna gani. Lakini kwanza ningetaka nishukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa wakofu ambao wamenipatia na ulinzi ambao wamenipatia maishani. Na kwa munda wa mrefu sana I think the last time I came chairman ulikuwa chairman na ukakuwa ukatoka chairman hiyo dispensation ni siku kuja na kukakuwa mabadiliko tena nikikuja tena nikakuta umerudi kuwa chairman si hii kurudia rudia hii sijui nani anapanga hiyo mipango Reverend Nundi hii kurudia rudia <laughs> wazee wa kanisa hii kurudia rudia haya <laughs> But I wanted to thank God because yesterday I was so surprised. Actually, I was so encouraged because kushuka kwa ndege around 6:30. I was really really inspired. I found six pastors. Yeye mnajua kukutana na wachungaji sita? Why I see six mpaka tukitembea na watu wengine hapo nikaangalia naona na na Reverend Nundi akaniona kwa mbali akaambia hawa ndio yule tuende wakaanza kuingia ndani ya airport and I felt I was needed here by the grace of God. Thank you so much pastors. Please appreciate the pastors. It is not very easy for a chairman of Andisi to go to the airport pamoja na mdogo wake. 
Reverend Kanunu was supposed to be there lakini alikuwa ameshanipigia simu mara kadhaa ndio ananiambia ujue unangojewa but i have been to Mombasa lakini sioi kukuta watu watatu wananingojea i met, met by the driver or sometimes so this is a very unique there must be a new dispensation kwa hii DCC lazima bwana abariki hii DCC kwa njia ya kipeke thank you chairman that was very kind of you i enjoyed the ride ze nilipokelewa na watu wengi sana na wachungaji wa IC tunajulikana mara mingi tunakuwa busy lakini kuja airport kulifanya niongeleshe mke wangu sana na nikamwambia hii jambo limenitisha hata mimi nikainua expectations zangu zikaenda juu because that was very encouraging bwana wabariki sana wachungaji mlie kuja kule bwana wabariki nikikuja huku vile vile nilikuwa nimeacha kuna kitu inaitwa run for the bible or for the bibleless tulikuwa hata mimi niliingia na t-shirt jana hawa leo vile tumeanza tayari So tulikuwa tume host BTL kule Kabrak University Wednesday. Na hivyo tulipowaandaa wafanye ukimbiaji wa mara ya kwanza na akuru wakaniambia pia Mombasa ni mara ya kwanza. So I thought I would come in, lakini kasema ni tukikimbia zote wachungaji hakuna muombezi. Kwa hivyo nyinyi mukimbie mimi niombe. E, na mupunguze pia kwa sababu uzee unatoka mukikimbia. Nataka nishukuru sana kwamba nimekuta hiyo nikakuta kuna kitu inaitwa Hatran na pia ilikuwa inakimbiwa pande ile ya nje. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru kwa mambo hayo yote. Na nafikiri mwenye alipanga hii mkutano masaya alifanya mzuri kwa sababu sisi wana IC tuna kadesturi ya Saturdays. Angalia mtu mwambie Saturdays. Mm. Kuamka polepole, kupanga vitu. So hakuna njia hii mkutano ingekuwa vyema isipokuwa kuanza saa hii tunaanza sasa. It is at God's time. So on my behalf extend your hand hata kama ni your wife husband mwambie umekaribishwa kwa mkutano huu sana God bless you God bless you Basi nina jambo la tatu ningetaka kuuliza ni kwamba juzi tulifanya mkutano kama huu na mke wangu ningefurahia kama tungekuja naye kwa maana siku hizi tumeona tunavyoendelea kusonga tunatembea pamoja lakini kwa sababu ya mipangilio wako na rali kubwa ya vijana so wanaendelea na vijana saa hizi tumetoka kuongea saa hizi lakini juzi tulipokuwa hali ya kusoma imebandilika kwa hivyo itafika wakati kwa hii mkutano nitawaweka leo kwa vikundi you have better information than i do have nitawaweka kwa vikundi kwa hivyo anza kuandjust kwa sababu kuna vikundi mtachukua kama dakika kumi ama kumi na tano kuongeleshana sisi ndio tuna wale ambao wanafundisha wanasema elimu imebadilika hata mnapoona wanaleta CBC wanasema si lazima yule ako mbele hawe ndiye anajua kwa weza kukawa kuna watu wa meketi wana ushauri zaidi na hivyo tunabadilisha kwa hivyo kuna mambo kadhaa nitafundisha na kuna wakati fulani baada ya chakula tutaketi nyumba ni kubwa kwa vikundi kama kumi ya watu wachache tuongeleshane kidogo alafu nitaomba tukifanya hivyo mtakuja ku report kwa vikundi vyenu mmekuja na mna gani mimi sitaki muwe mnaalika wanenaji mnaleta na ndege kuwaongelesha ningetaka mchukue njukumu ya kujenga maisha yenu na kufanya hivyo ni kuwapatia fursa ya kuongeleshana alafu chama ni wa DCC baadaye hayo mambo yatawekwa ratiba hapa zile mambo zinatukula sisi kama watu wa Mombasa jamii zetu tuziandike hapa kila watu wakirudi kanisani mwao mnaweza kupanga mwe mnakutana na kushauriana na kuombeana kwa mambo kama hayo seminars ya kwenda kupatiwa manuals na kwenda kuweka store wakati wake umeisha wakati ambao tuko sasa ni dispensation ya mimi kusema mimi naweza take control ya ndoa yangu mimi naweza take control ya watoto wangu nikiwa hapa mke wangu amenipigia simu na nikatoka nje na hata huyu hakujua na mke wangu akaniambia kuna kijana amekwama kwa nyumba ni kama hajisikii kwenda rally nikamwambia that's very good because i'm facilitating a family meeting so then i called my son and we had a very cold your talk Tuka angri oh yeah kulikuwa nini oh nilikuwa na hii oh hiyo alipangia hapa unajua naongea kwa sababu unajua kuna watu wako hapa hata umekuja umefura 
you umeacha watu kwa sitting room wana watch cartoon na huyu utafanyia nini hata unasema i wish hii cartoon isingeondoka cartoon hazitaondoka zitaongezeka usiwe unaombea cartoon ziondoke cartoons zinaongezeka lazima mambo ikifanyika na sisi tuinue neema ya Mungu itupeleke juu tupambane kwa hivyo tukaongea na kijana akaniambia i'm so sorry daddy alijua niko nje na aliona labda mama tunaweza negotiate na wamama mlio hapa si mnajua hiyo negotiation hiyo hiyo negotiating grace mko nayo ninaomba hiyo grace isipite kiasi ikuwe bado ukumbuke we ni mama ni kiongozi so tulipokuwa tukiongea na mkwangu tulikuwa na cheka alafu nikaongea na kijana akasema hey dad i'm going to apologize to mom na i'm on my way now ni hapo tu karibu so i kept telling myself there are no experts usitanganywe bishop wako pale ama mchungaji wako pale nyinyi mumeona watoto wachungaji wameenda rehabilitation centers mumeona watoto wa wachunga wa walimu wakuu wameona wa, watoto wa bank managers wameingia kwa shida kwa hivyo tuko na issues na kama kunao wakati ambao nimeshangaa Mungu anafanya nini ni sasa last week last month tulikuwa na seminar 58 AC 58 kuhusu jamii Niko hapa. Nikirudi kula tunaingia semi na ingine na Ivasha. Alafu tuko na ingine IC mbakazi. Na zote zote wanazingatia the same thing. Jamii na kusimamisha jamii mara. So jambo hilo limenitia moyo imeanza kufanya niulize ni nini kinachoendelea. Sasa hivi atuhitaji more youth meetings, tunahitaji more couples na wazazi pamoja. Kwa hivyo DCC nataka niwape heko kwa jambo hilo ambalo ni jambo la muhimu sana. Sijui kama unaweza kuangalia Zaburi mia moja na kumi na tisa, mstari wa kumi na nane. Psalm 119 sorry Psalm 119 mstari ni wa kumi na nane. Psalm 119 mstari wa 18 Unifumbue macho yangu ni ya tanzame maajabu yatokayo katika sheria yako Mimi ni mgeni katika inji usinifiche maangizo yako Wa Kiingereza Chairman inasema nini kwako It says open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. Hiyo ni maombi iliyoombwa na ndugu yetu Daudi na imetia moyo wangu moyo sana. Namwambia Mungu kama kuna kitu ningeomba unisaidie fungua macho yangu nikiwepo hapa duniani niweze kuona maangizo na undani na utajiri wa mafundisho ma, 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 yako. Kwa maana mimi ningali natembea duniani na hitaji msaada wako. Kwa hivyo ningeomba kwa heshima tuweze kusimama zote tumuitishe Mungu neema hiyo kwa dakika mbili tu tuweze kusimama na kama una uwezo ninangojea msimame kwa maana najua mnasimama polepole tuko <laughs> nimezoea kuambia university wasimame wanasimama bio hebu weka mikono yako kama yangu hivi tu hakika baba ni asande ni kwa ajili ya sisi wanaume na wanawake ambao umetu leta ulimwenguni huu na ukatujalia kutuokoa na vile vile ukatuita kwa kazi yako kwa huduma yako na ukatuweka katika sehemu tofauti tofauti za mwili wako kama vile umetuweka AIC township wengine ukawaweka baraki wengine ukawaweka Nyali West wengine ukawaweka hapa mahali tulipo kwa neema yako hapa Tuda wengine ukawaweka kilindini wengine ukaweka tononoka wengine ukaweka mahali tofauti tunainua mikono yetu mbele zako tukijiunga na mtumishi wako Daudi ambao alikuwa na uwezo na kila kitu na maarifa lakini aliomba akasema e Mwenyezi Mungu 
nifundishe maangizo yako kilio cha moyo wangu tikuinua mikono yetu mbele zako tunaishi nyakati ngumu sana tunaishi nyakati ambazo shetani amefahamia ndoa na jamii zetu tanzama sisi ni kina baba sisi ni kina mama tumeinua mikono yetu mbele zako tukisema tunatarajia kufundishwa na wewe nami nanyenyekea chini ya miguu yako roho mtakatifu chini ya miguu yako Yesu Kristo chini ya miguu yako baba yetu ninaleta uwepo wako mahali hapa isiwe kuna mtu amekuja akiangaika ataondoka akiangaika isiwe kuna ndoa limeingia hapa likiwa karibu ivunjike iende kuvunjika isiwe kuna jamii wameingia hapa hakuna wiwano nina nena roho wako mtakatifu tunapoinua mikono yetu tufundishe tuelekeze turekebishe tuonyeshe mwelekeo hatutasinzia hatutakufa moyo tunajua yote yanawezekana hata wiwano wa nyumbani unawezekana watoto wetu wanaweza shika laini kwa sababu tunaabudu aliye hai kilio changu ni watu wako kuanzia chairman kuenda wazee wale wa zamani walio hapa na akina mama mikono yetu iko juu ishara ya kwamba tunanyenyekea kwa uwepo wako Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hivyo ikiwa kuna mahali kuna ugonjwa nina nena neno la uponyaji katika jina la Yesu Kristo ili mtumishi wako atulie unapoleta neno lako ikiwa kuna uchungu ikiwa kuna kuaibika ikiwa kuna hali ya kutaka kutokutaka kuonana ninaomba utakazo utakazo tunainua mikono yetu mbele zako kama jamii tunasema usipo tushika mikono hatutaenda mbele bila wewe kwa hivyo semina hii ni yako e Mwenyezi Mungu chukua ushukani tunakemea shetani na mawazo yake na hisia zake na kila mipangilio ameweka tunaitegua tunadeclare hii seminar tutasikia sauti ya aliye hai na tunaomba kwamba mioyo yetu tukiondoka kwa ile milango tutasema hakika Mungu ni mwema niliingia uweponi mwake tubariki mikono yetu iko mbele zako Oh to thee my blessed say tukinua mikono yetu i surrender usiongope kuinua mikono i surrender oh. say with me i surrender i surrender at our families our marriages our relationships We surrender to you. Oh to thee my blessed savior I surrender. Kilio cha mioyo yetu mchana wa leo this should not be another seminar. Ninakataa seminar za kawaida. Ninakataa mawazo ya ukawaida tuinue kiwango kipya tufurahie jamii zetu tusherekee uzee na umama wetu tusherekee watoto wetu tuinue kiwango kingine tuseme hii si mkutano ya kawaida kika baba tunyeshe mfua ya ufifio fufua ndoa zetu fufua upendo wetu fufua hali ya uzazi wetu ili tulee vizuri ini cruises oh to thee my blessed savior ah usiwe na uchungu achilia kwa Yesu yote ah oh to thee my blessed savior Situpigie Yesu makopi ni mwema. Yesu ni mwema. Kaa tu umesimama. Unajua 
Uwezi kuja hii meeting ikuwe ya kawaida. You cannot come to a normal meeting. Angalia mwenzako muambie this is not a Sunday service. Muambie tu hii si ibada as jimapili. I believe I am hearing it in my spirit. Some couples are going to become better from today. Never the same again. I know umetembe hapa ukiwa na uchungu, frustrated, mutoto wa mekushangaza, kuna vitu vimetendeka, umepitisho mamamangumu na mmewako, you are feel betrayed, this is your seminar. So feel free. Can we give Jesus a mighty appreciation? Come on, couples! Celebrate! He is God. Amen. We can be seated. We can be seated. So let me read two passages of scripture kwa Kiswahili. Um, those of you following online, you bear with us. Uh, we hope you will be able to catch up, but the way we are structuring this will be moving here and there. So the guys on the machines will watajipanga. <laughs> Matthew 19, chapter 19, verse 1. Amba nisome na Kiswahili. Wana Yesu, ikawa Yesu alipo maliza maneno hayo, akatoka ngalilaya, akafika mipaka ya uyahudi, ngambo ya Yerudan. Makutano mengi wakamfuata, akawaponya uko. Basi, mafarisayo wakamuendea, wakamunjaribu wakimuambia, je, ni halali mtu kumuacha mkewe kwa kila sababu akajibu akawaambia hamkusoma ya kwamba yeye aliye waumba mwanzo aliwaumba mtu mume na mke wake ama na mke na mtu mke akasema kwa sababu hiyo mtu atamwacha baba yake na mamaye ataandambatana na mkewe na hao wawili watakuwa mwili mmoja hata wamekuwa si wawili tena bali mwili mmoja basi alipo aliowaunganisha ali Mungu mwanadamu asiwatenganishe wakamwambia jinsi gani basi Musa aliamuru kumpa hati, ha, hati ya talaka certificate of divorce hapo akasema na kumwacha akawaambia Musa kwa sababu ya ungumu wa mioyo yenu aliwapa ruhusa kuwaacha wake zenu lakini tangu mwanzo haikuwa hivi Tafadhali underline that word it was not so from the beginning then mstari wa tisa. nami nawaambia ninyi kila mtu atakayemwacha mkewe isipokuwa kwa sababu ya usherati akawa mwingine azini naye amwawae yule aliyewaacha mwacha azini wanafunzi wakamwambia wakamwambia mambo ya mtu na mkewe yakiwa hivyo <laughs> yakiwa iko hivyo wacha washauri Yesu basi tuko na shauri kwako Yesu mambo ya mtu na mkewe yakiwa hivyo haifai kuoa <laughs> I think walishikwa mahali. Yaani wakaamua ifai kuoa na wale walikuwa wameoa tayari. <laughs> Hebu tusonge kidogo, kidogo tu. Lakini yeye akawaambia, si wote wawezao kulipokea neno hili ni wale waliojaliwa. Maana wako matowashi waliozaliwa hali hivyo toka matumboni mwa mama zao tena wako matowasi walio fanyi, walioifanywa na watu kuwa matowashi alivyo akasema mstari huo tu 
matawashi kwa ajili ya ufalme wa mbinguni awezaye kulipokea neno hili na alipoke Let's do one more it's on the screen for you mark chapter 12 enda na mimi tu pole pole pale mariko sura ni ya 12 mariko sura ni ya 12 na wale ambao mnaendelea kuingia naona mnaendelea kupeleka kanisa langu mbali utakuomba uchukue kiti cha plastic na ukuje karibu kuna viti vimewekwa nyuma ya hao wazee hao wazee mmeingia tafadhali nitaomba sitaki kuinuka kuwatafuta thank you kuja tu hivi kuna viti vimewekwa hapa kwa ajili yenu mariko 12 tusome mstari wa 18 katika masandukayo Watu wasemao ya kwamba hakuna kiyama wakamwendea wakamuuliza na kusema Mwalimu Musa alituandikia ya kwamba ndugu ya mtu akifa akamwacha mkewe wala hata hana mtoto ndugu yake amoe nirudie pale ndugu yake amtoe yule mkewe akampatie ndugu yake mzao basi kulikuwa na ndugu saba na wa kwanza akaoa ama akatoa aka mke akafa asiache mzao wa pili naye akamtoa akafa wala yeye hakuacha mzao na watatu kadhalika hata na wote saba wasiache mzao mwisho wa yote yule mwanamke akafa naye basi katika kiyama atakuwa mke wa UP katika hao maana wote saba walikuwa naye Yesu akajibu akawaambia Je hampotei kwa sababu hii kwa kuwa hamuyajui maandiko wala uweza wa Mungu kwa maana watakao watakapo fufuka katika wafu hawaoi wala hawaolewi hali huwa kama malaika walioko mbinguni na kwa habari ya wafu na ya kwamba wafufuli, watafufuliwa hamjasoma katika kitabu cha Musa sura uh, sorry sura ya kijiti Jinzi Mungu alivyomwambia akisema mimi ni Mungu wa Ibrahimu na Mungu wa Isaka na Mungu wa Yakobo yeye si Mungu wa wafu mbali wa walio hai hivyo mwapotea sana Ningetaka muniruhusu kwa dakika chache ni demystify ama ni reduce Nilete hiyo maneno kwa lugha ya kueleweka kwa maana kuna mambo matatu chama ninaona hapa. Ukimsikiliza Yesu maswali anayoulizwa na wanadamu. Yamaanisha mambo matatu alipotembea ulimwenguni huu kumbe Yesu alikuta watu wanapambana na mambo kadha wa kadha ambao walihitaji jibu. Jambo moja Yesu alikuta watu wanatatizana nayo ni kuhusu mambo ya ibada. Na mnakumbuka mahali aliingia akawakuta wengine wakiuza vitu na akaingia mambo ya religion. Lakini jambo nimechungulia nikaona scripture imeinua zaidi ni jambo ya hali ya jamii na ndoa. Na ndiposa unaona katikati mchungaji Yesu ametembea na badala ya kumuuliza akutajirishe unamwambia niko na shida kubwa kwa sababu nataka kuacha huyo mke wangu ama nataka kuacha huyo mume wangu yani Yesu aliingia katika ulimwengu ambao ulikuwa na tension na wako wanapata majibu yanayofaa na swala moja iliwasumbua zaidi ni swala ya ndoa mambo ya ibada iliwasumbua lakini Yesu alisema yale alisema Jambo lingine litatiza watu kama chama mnakumbuka na nashukuru hii DCC mahali mmefika ni uongozi. 
Mnakumbuka yule mama alipata nafasi na naambia Yesu naomba tafadhali kijana mmoja akae right na kijana mwingine akae wapi? Left. Kwa sababu society ilikuwa inakutambua depending on watoto wako wako kiwango gani. So leadership na mambo ya religion Yesu alikuta inasumbua. Lakini ajabu ilinishangaza sikutarajia mtu yeyote auulize Yesu kuhusu jamii. Lakini katika sehemu hizi mbili unaona mafarisayo na masandukayo wote wanapopata nafasi ya Yesu hata awamuulizi juu ya ufalme wa mbinguni. Wanamuuliza kinachowakula sasa. Sijui kama unanielewa. It follows that most likely wakati mambo ya ndoa yanatsumbua watu wanasahau mambo ya ufalme wa Mungu. <laughs> Kwa sababu Mungu mwenyewe ametembea. I don't know chairman whether you picture this. Yaani Yesu ametembea hivi ametembea. Alafu Reverend Nundi amuke amwambie, "Yesu, ni vizuri niachane na mke wangu." Can you imagine? Yesu akitokea hapa kitu kwanza nitamwambia nataka ngare mpya kubwa. Nataka nyumba four bedroom. Vitu vya maana. Yaani ufalme unapita katikati yako lakini wewe unamuuliza kuna shida nikiachana na mke wangu. That means that is a pressing issue. Tant your neighbor mwambie I hope you are not pressed. <laughs> Kalulu leo niliambia utakaa na mke wako naona na, anakuangalia tu. But you are used. We are, we are not beginning. Mimi nilicheza nilikoa nili, nili laughter kule kabra nilisema mshukuru Mungu transfers zinafanywa kwa mashule na zinafanywa kwa mambo mengine siku ile mtu atasema transfer ya wazazi ifanywe most of you will go and transfer the next day yani mseme vile principal wa transferred ninaweza uliza watoto waulizwe mnataka ndadia transfer wewe mletewe ndadi mwingine mami awe transferred mletewe i'm telling you the vote will be transfer them now Thank God. Sijui kama umenishikia? Hata Francis na yeye umelea umefikisha mali. Leo hii dunia ya Kenya ikipeanwa sheria inasema wazazi watoto wakichoka na wazazi na pia wenye mko kwa ndoa mkichoka na each other you can transfer. That thing will pass like yesterday. You watu wamechoka. Na ukitaka kujua watu wamechoka ni saa ile wanaona Mungu mwenyewe anatembea katikati yao. Na badala ya kushughulikia vitu vya juu vyenye maana wanauliza unaweza tupunguzia kidogo tuachane hiyo tumechoka That is serious So I wanted to begin by showing you that text to show you every season in life the questions we ask about marriage trace their answers in Jesus Hakuna season tutauliza maswali ya ndoa tupate jawabu kwa science, kwa filosofia, kwa kitu kingine. Kuonyesha kwamba Yesu alipeana wakati mzuri kujibu. Lakini kuna vitu vitatu vinanipendeza vya Yesu. Na sisiki kwa makanisa. Kitu ya kwanza aliwaambia, hii maswali yote mnaoleza inaoleza inaonyesha mko na ndipa problem. Si shida ya mke wako amusikizani. Na jambo la kwanza akasema shida ya kwanza ni hamsomi neno. Waje narudi kidogo. Waje narudi kidogo wise. Um where is my bag? So let let me use my bag. Hii tutatumia mara mbili. Thank you for placing me on a plane kwa sababu ukiniweka kwa ndege na mimi wanabeba vitu vyote. Kwa hivyo I knew I knew I would carry what I need. So let me pick one of these. Uh, you a too. So this is what I'm looking at. Forget about what you see on the screen. So Yesu anasema kitu kama hiki. Nimefinya project yangu. Anasema kitu kama hiki. For a moment. Hii ndio standard. Lakini imefika mahali mlitembea na standard vizuri lakini somewhere 
standard haipenduki inaendanga hivi lakini nyinyi wenyewe mume create some other substandards na mnatembea lakini amujui mumeingia kitu inaitwa diversion unakumbuka diversion shida diversion ni moja i don't like diversions you can drive you can park anywhere driver anaweza kuacha lodi katikati aende kujisaidia kwa msitu there are no rules you can overtake any direction tulisema hivyo eh so yesu akawaambia nyinyi mnauliza maswali mmepotea kwa ndoa kwa sababu hamuzingati hamuzingati standard mnatumia rules za diversion na hizo diversion upeanwa na culture hizo diversion upeanwa na kitamaduni hizo dimensions upewa upeanwa na traditions ndio naona wengi wenu mlipokuwa mkiolewa ulikuta mlifika kiwango wewe ukafanywa uchinje mbuzi na hukuelewa kama ulikuwa unaingizwa kwa covenants <laughs> unajikuta una umeingizwa kwa vile unasema kwa sababu tradition inasema hivyo kwa hivyo sitakawia pale Yesu anawaambia hawa ninaona mko na shida kwanza kwa sababu mko na shortage ya the word amujui neno okay kalulu tuweke hiyo hapo eh amujui the word in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and that of course remains no matter the only constant we have on the planet earth is the truth of god everything else can zingzang So Yesu anakuja anauliza swali anasema tuachane na vile wanasikia na vile wamedhulumiwa na mke wako hiyo waacha kando shida si kudhulumiwa kudhulumiwa ni ishara ya shida nyingine ndipa shida ni hii kwamba one amuna neno ukweli amuujui so word then you are in a diversion wale mlie mbali mlisikia nikisema hii inaweza kubalika kuwa kitu tofauti so That's why you need to be near the highs. So mume mumetoka kando. Na hakuna kitu kibaya nimeona ngumu. Kama kununulia mke wako nguo, kununulia mke wako nguo, kama mnashikilia ndoa kwa kununulia na zawadi, mtachoka. It is very dangerous. Very dangerous. Because it will force you to sacrifice vitu fulani na kuna watu mko hapa mna service loan ambao mpasi kuwa mlichukua hiyo loan and you know Jo mletembea kwa mtu mkaona viti mkachukua loan mkae na viti kama za wengine. Hiyo inaitwa ndoa ilie katika diversion. Angalia mwenzako mwambie huyo mzee ako na point. Hata kama sina point, I know I am making a point. Yeah. <laughs> Just walk with me slowly. Twenda the next step. Kuna jambo la tatu my brother Kithuku huyo alisema. Yesu akasema kuna kitu kitatu kingine kimewasumbua nyinyi hamujawahi kuelewa na uwezo wa Mungu the power of god to change you akasema vitu vitatu akasema kuna kitu ambacho amukielewi anajibu kwa hiyo text anasema you are out of way because one amuna neno neno litasimama twende that's very powerful eh? because it means even if you don't have a car marriage can happen even if we don't have a good house we can still be married even if watoto wetu waja qualify kwenda university we are still married this one stands so wakati wale i like the way jesus does wakati wale muuliza swali alisema sitajibu shida yenu shida yenu si hii mnauliza shida yenu ni kubwa kuliko ile kitu mnauliza Muna uhaba wa ne- uh, let me tell you couples hatujaongea kwa sababu hatuongei mambo yenu ya couples leo tunaongea ya jamii niwaambie ukweli nimekuwa kwa ndoa sasa kwa miaka ishirini na tatu. mimi i can assure you na wazee wako hapa wenye wamekaa ndoa miaka mingi i have never known a better life in the history of humanity than when you are married two are better than one But I can also assure you the devil is a liar. 
He has made so many people hate marriage mpaka generation ndogo yote tumeionyesha hii ni kitu mbaya sana. Kila siku unalia watoto wanakuwa na mamu ni nini? <coughs> Unarudi pale. Na ni, na ni mzee wa kanisa mke wake analia. Na ni mchungaji mke wake analia. Uzuri atuongeje watu wako nje tunaongea tukiwa hapa ndani leo. Hapa. Na hiyo ndio kanisa la, 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 la Mombasa Central. Kama usitarajie ingine wale watakuja kesho tunaita spiritual mashambiks. Wataingia kesho wataja hapa. Hao mashambiki ni wa muhimu sana. Hata sandaka wanatoa vyo vyo. Mutaingia mbele yao na mutatoka wakiwa wameenda. Diyo yu mashambi kazi yao ni kuja wakiona ngemu, wanaenda nyumbani. Awana mambo ingini. Lakini wewe na mimi, lazima tuingia hapa asubui, tungangane, tumekuja seminar, kesho ndi utakuja wakuanza, na tutatoka wamuisho kesho. Simujibigia makovi because you are very important. Very, very important people. That's why I want you to think. So I'm, walk with me, I'm very interested because i'm going to show you something on the screen i'm very very interested because i believe even if jesus walks in this place today he will still shout hey amuna shida na ndoa muko na shida na mioyo ata shout hiyo hey wacheni kuniambia ati huko nilewa nguo acha nguo makeups huko pata wacha na makeups kwani makeups yule zikuta juice yule kwa mzitoni bila makeups ni makeups yule ona juice Hata Yesu mwenyewe atakukumbusha makeup sio siona juice hata ngari ya kwanza umeendesha juice wewe ulikuwa unatembea na bicycle wacha 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 kukaa kama umetoka mbali hujatoka mbinguni tunakujua unanielewa akitembea hapa atasema sitai kusikia mother in law ni, ni, ni shetani hakuna mother in law shetani Yesu akitembea hapa atatangaza mambo matatu <laughs> nirudieni kwa mioyo yenu Rudini kwa standard standard itawaonyesha mahali mnapaswa kukaa na so long as you are within the standard anakuambia then you will experience the power by the way if you pull away from the standard you don't experience the power you buy the power now you need to hear this ndio unaona kila saa unaambia mke wako ama tuende kwa kitonga atuombe ama tuende kwa lai tuwekelewe mikono you don't need a physical transfer to receive divine anointing i need to say that again you don't need a physical transfer to experience divine power. You simply need quality in a heart life. Yaani quality and ndani ikuwe sawa, power comes in. If you are in the straight line of power, you enjoy the power. I'm sorry my wife, I didn't intend to do that. Thank you. We proceed. Kijanangu pole because we are in the standard. But when you are away from the standard, unakasirika hata sasa vile umekasirika kwa hii mkutano, bado hujanikasirika, unakasirika bado. Kama kuna kitu unaitwa unajua kuna watu wamekaa hii mkutano bado amejaza. Hata anakuona na cheka anasema watu wanachekanga nini? Unajua umejaa. <laughs> Can I ask you lighten up? Lighten up. Punguza mizigo. <laughs> Punguza ni mizigo tafadhali. Let's let's lessen the the weight. I married to Lillian. Lillian comes from Machakos. I come from Makueni the plains. We my wife comes from a place where they have never had planes. Wakati watu wake walikuja makweni walimwambia ole wako msichana wetu umejitupa. Hapa ndio umeona. Hakuna kitu kinaitangwa kujitupa. Hata kama ulikuta mother in law ni mchawi, thank God for your husband. Thank God you are the light of that family. You have an opportunity to be the light of the world. Shine. Tell your neighbor shine. Okay, let's go slowly there. <laughs> okay, let's go. Any, everybody here with me? So, Reverend Kalulu, wacha tuachie hapo. Watu, I suspect, tukipate wa chat tujaze, watu wengi, the fact that you are 20 years in marriage is not the issue. The issue is, are you within the standards? Unaweza kuwa nasumbua watu na, na Facebook, 20 years, na unahangi your wife, and you know you are struggling. Lakini uka Facebook. Ah. <laughs> and you know you are giving us hakuna lie and dunia hii kama social media. Kabisa msikizani unachukua ka photo ka zamani mnaweka hapo 25 years of marriage. You can say 25 years of prison. You have been in the prison. And I want to help you to pull away from that prison. That's why we are here today. Uwezi kuwa kwa jela miaka yote. So hii kitu hii hii one of the things I did, please don't do what I did. Something I did in my life, nile notice kwetu vile tunaenda majina ya watoto, nikaambia moyo wangu, maisha ni mwangu, 
nitakapobarikiwa na watoto i will call them names to honor god first not to honor the larger mutuku line you get what i'm talking about so when i got my first born nikatangaza jina mzee ananita nasema fulani amezaliwa na anapeana jina ya nyumbani namwambia yes anaitwa anaitwa sasa Caleb Muwo Musila wa pili akazaliwa msichana wakasema anaitwa shushu yangu nikawaambia anaitwa Joy Mweni Musila all the names i if you want to change a cycle you must take a radical position of your life i'm not asking you to go and change names lakini unaita mtoto munyoki alafu kidogo kidogo kana koma akaingia university kanakuta kumbe munyoki munyoki na kuna mapepo singine zinajuanga history. Shetani ni historia nasema we usiimbe praise sana unakumbuka nyimbo inaitwa mnyoki kunda kidogo kunda kidogo. I'm not saying you you you, you feel bad about names. I'm simply saying you must be aware even as you you bring children on planet earth that naming can become a window. Okay, I leave it there. So I decided to break this and decide how do i want i want to maintain this by the way if you decide to maintain the standard you might require to offend certain people eh wale wananisikia wamenisikia ikiwa uta maintain standard it may cost you to offend to maintain i always believe e offense ina hiyo mungu ana shida nayo you watu wanasema wewe una kalulu alioa amepeleka mke wako Mombasa kazi yao ni kupumzika huko wacha waonge wa munyo lakini waambie penina <laughs> ni my half tutakaa fenye tumeamua hatuongozi na wakamba na mbaa angania tunaongozwa na standard tunafuata standard ya Mungu na tukiwa kwa hiyo standard then we will be attending to our parents in law tuta attend kwa neighbors but within the anger I can't sing a song I like. Ukaluma moy kioni wa will your anger itulu mo ni sionde sia ko de when the clouds and the waves uta ni siko kila ukalu That song is a hymn no it's a it's a called will your anger hold you can google the song it's a beautiful hymn very beautiful one saying will you hold in your marriage even when children don't come even when children come one gender what any was tena was tena was tena was tena how jalaniwa so long as you're in the standard they are gifts from the lord if they are boys 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 thank god kama kuna mmoja uko na udhaifu thank god so long as you're in the standard hii chuma ndio inanibariki sana hii kuna nyingine hii chuma hii chuma ndio inanibariki yani inakuambia wewe you hang ukienda chini sijali lakini standard ndio hiyo ukienda juu ni sawa lakini standard ndio hiyo kasi ya standard ni biblia ni kukuambia wewe ruka ruka tu lakini standard ndio hii umenisikia vizuri let me move one more step now from the screen so let me put that i hope you keep that in mind the question is why is jesus having trouble with people please don't mind about the colors i will skip that let me open the screen then i can run a bit quickly okay let's move one more step now that you understand where we are going i can easily move so the focus tuko nayo leo ni kujenga jamii na ndoa zenye msingi imara yani building a stable family and i think chama nimeshajibu kwa sababu Yesu ni kama alisema you don't need a marriage seminar you need the hearts to have the word you need to be sure you are not diverting then you begin your journey for building family the need of the season kila mtu angalie hapo you can interpret what you want about this radio unaweza kuiona mzuri francis uko sure kwa hiyo wengi wamekaa okay unaona nini madam unaona nini <laughs> umeona mute okay na wewe umeona nini i like the way you guys are interpreting huyu ameona mute huyu ameona mute ambao hauna why i like that interpretation unaona nini madam what are you seeing useme tu mute 
umekauka nasikia vile maneno naongezwa um i was just wondering could our marriages be this way this 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 looks like a, a tree <laughs> iko tu yani iko tu na inaonekana ni muti ambaye of course dalili i like uh, nundi's statement aina leaves kwa nini hiyo inaonyesha most likely kuna vitu vimeshakauka lakini ni muti tu umesimama bado uko pale can i send you kidogo could your bedroom be as this dry usijibu how about your finances i'm just drawing an image i'm going to give you the, the next part of it I, i guess kuna ndoa mingi zetu ambazo utakuta kwamba zimekuwa na shida lakini ile nilikuwa niafanya leo ni kujaribu kusema shida ya ile muti haiko kwa muti iko kwa mizizi wale mnaona hapa mnaona kuna mizizi imekatwa ingine imekatwa na upanga kuna ingine imekatwa kuna ingine imekuliwa kidogo kuna ingine hapa ina, ina shida kidogo wale utaona ni kwamba ishara ya hii muti ambao tunaona hiyo manifestation ya nje ni ishara ya ugonjwa ulio chini ikiwa hatutatibu kule kwa roots so those of you who are having marriages like this wiki hii baba fulani alikuwa mzuri sana unajua kuna watu wanaishi marriage zao na by timing una time mtu one emotion sikoaje <laughs> nimejoshwa na hizi ndoa yani unalegea unatekea mume wako akiingia unaangalia hebu niona emotion sikoaje nijua nitamwambiaje Yaani lazima utegee. Hawezi kuingia awe mbaya useme karibu daddy is. Hani karibu. Kuna watu wengi wanaishi by timing because when marriage zetu mingi ziko katika hii ndoa. Katika hii hali ambapo unakuta hakuna matawi, hakuna more branches, dalili ni ambao haifai. Na hii inatapakaa mpaka kwa hali ya mapenzi yenu, inatapakaa kwa hali ya mapenzi ya kusomesha watoto, inatapakaa katika quality yenu ya kanisani vile mnatoka ukileta mume ako hivi na mke wake hivi na wao ni wa chama cha LCC hiyo chama itakuwa imekauka kama hiyo jamii kama unaleta wakina mama kwa chama chair lady yawe namna hii na treasurer namna hii basi hiyo AIC Tudor hata nayo yenyewe itaonyesha ishara za ukaufu alafu mnaanza kusema let us change leadership tubandilishe na mimi nasema ukitaka muti upate ma, ma, tofauti usizingatie kukauka kwake rudi hapa so ile kitu ningetaka badala ya kwenda ukiambia watu juu ya mume wako na mke wako hadithi huku na huku hautawahi saidika ni kusaidia kidogo kwa neno leo na kuambia badala ya kuambia watu hata kusaidia watakusengenya zaidi mimi nakutuma uende safari ya kuangalia roots vile mlikutana kama mlikuwa na kausherati huko 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 mnanielewa huko mnajua ni wapi kabla mjaoana na kama mlikumbaliana mkatoa mimba huko na mjawai na kama mlikuja mkafunganishwa ndoa mkiwa na mimba na mmeficha mchungaji unajua nyinyi mungu huyu anatokea wapi naongea ya roots <laughs> kumbe mmenisikia sasa utakuta ndoa inabambana namna hii utapeleka kwa kansala, utapeleka kwa psychiatrist, utapeleka nani? Lakini Yesu anasema roots. Mnangangana mnalipa kansala na fanya kazi roots. Lazima tujue kwamba roots iko na sababu ya kutatuliwa. Kuna wanawake mko hapa ambao ukwa uolewe lakini mimba ndio ilikufanya uolewe. Ungepewa chance. That means the roots are already wrong no matter what we do. Kuna wanaume ambao huko wanataka kuoa lakini uliambiwa msichana wenyewe umeweka kwa shida. Oa. Na hadi wa leo unapambana lakini moyo wako ndani ya ndani ya ndani yako inakuambianga huyu 
singekuwa yeye na hata usipochungwa huko ndani unaombanga akikufa hivi sitamaliza mwezi moja nitakuwa nimeoa hii maombi najua ni mingi nyinyi amujui nyinyi amujui watu eh, mtu anaomba ndani huko na huyu angekufa hivi kidogo kesho na by the way if you ever sit down and think if my wife or my husband dies who would be next you have a very serious problem there are things that must wait for their due time so we must deal with this hapo i hope everybody is with me what jesus was saying was wacheni kunionyesha miti shida si mti unaona ndoa zetu zimekauka maisha yetu ya songi hakuna project tunafanya si hakuna nini tunafanya hatujaenda kuona my mother in law yesu anasema acha hiyo upuzi yote hiyo kando shida iko deeper iko kwa roots so let me move that quickly so run with me i will i will, I will facilitate this usually what i tell people these are very scandy notes ukingojea hizi zangu utaumia wewe ndio unawaza what you think i will avail them to the disease chairman na ndugu zangu but they are very scandy ni za kunisaidia kuongea lakini mnajua kwamba ndoa aiishi aifanyiki kwa hewa kwa vacuum familia na ndoa ufanyika katika context please follow this quickly i'm told vijana wetu siku hizi wamekuwa werefu sana they don't write lakini wanahakikisha their their phone wakiona kitu pa ananyamaza pa ananyamaza i don't know the right composition siku hizi hawaandiki wanachukua tu <laughs> Siku ile wataambiwa andika composition. Dunia yetu imejawa na vitu vitatu. It's a very noisy world by the way. Dunia yetu imejawa na kelele mingi. It's a crowded world. Dunia ambayo sisi mimi na wewe tunaishi kama wenye ndoa. Ni, ni dunia ambayo ina kelele, iko na sauti mingi sana. Iko na crowd mingi ya watu na ni dunia ambayo imechafuliwa. Kwa Kiingereza unasema it's a polluted world particularly katika kila hali. How many of you recently mmewahi ku board matatu you feel ashamed imewekwa screen pale na watu wana dance alafu wanaweka msichana na kwa tuna na kifua ndio imevunikwa alafu wana dance pale na amejifunika kidogo hapa alafu unaona vijana wote wanachiwa na angalia wanacheka alafu wewe ni kama unaambia Mungu Mungu saidia macho yangu Mungu saidia macho yangu Mungu saidia mpaka karibu ushuke have you found something interesting hata simu yako Ukiwakisha unaanza kuwakisha ukiwa kiafu you unaweza kuwa misunderstood Kuna some guys wanaweka mandi vats hapa na ukifungua simu yako na ni bishop unakuta kile unasema ai una sima <laughs> juu unaonekana kama unaangalia vitu ambavyo vyelewi si kama leo vile nasema it's a very polluted world highly polluted uh, wetangula alisema the, the, the divorce will be messy and noisy you remember those of you <laughs> it will be very messy and noisy haitakuwa mzuri i wonder excuse me church i wonder what the noise in the market is doing to you i wonder wanaume sana sana hii noise imetubeba sana shida yetu wanaume ni hii tu he to Jesus to say that Job waliomba akasema I make a covenant with my eyes not with my heart with my eyes <laughs> Job prayed and said I put I have a covenant with my eyes that I will not look lustfully at a woman because muke amkipita unasema ah muke wangu si angekuwa hivi na uko naye bado He macho he You see that keep that in mind let me move one more step Why is that happening three things kuna mawazo imeingia sokoni there are ideas that have come in the market of our existence secondly there are notions si lazima uwe na kingangi 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 umemusikia kwa radio kingangi kingangi was listening when i was coming i was saying what do we do with some of these guys sema si lazima ukuwe na mke mmoja na radio inampatia masaa mingi aongee hiyo matope si lazima ukuwe na mke mmoja Huyu unaweza kuweka wa pande hii wa Mombasa sio wa wapi The notions are being propagated by social media our media platforms alafu nakuta watu wamepewa so much and then we have there are beliefs and the philosophies that have come in the market kuna mawazo fulani kuna moja imenisumbua sana penina sijakwambia lately niko na shida mnisaidie 
kuna philosophy imekuja sasa that they can do their marriage na wakisikia wamechoka na each other they change it to a contract na nime under three cases hiyo sasa the young married tunaishi tukifika tumechoka sioni any value addition i can't feel i love you anymore we now end in a contract we can be coming si lazima unale room yangu si lazima tukae nawe lakini watoto contract to lay wewe ukiona lava mwingine life is about enjoying you will look for somebody wewe ukiona lava mwingine endelea we only meeting on contract kwamba tuko na watoto i have handled three cases of that type and they are very painful they are very painful and if the church does not say hey if the church does not shout those philosophies are running like fire I don't know what to do. I have one what three serious cases. Yaani watu wamefika wamesema upendo umeisha na yangu imeisha. Kabisa tukumbaleni hakuna more love because I don't know what love they defined. So wewe ukiona lava mwingine endelea lakini tuko na contract. Hii nyumba ni yetu. Tukikuja bedroom yako ni ile, yangu ni hii. No more intimacy. No more interaction. Lakini we on as a quite intimate na mtu mwingine and now those are we call them philosophies that are coming i don't know that you remember this gentleman um the warning by colossians paul warned the colossians that there are some hollow and deceptive philosophies in the market and he said be them be careful that you don't musiishi maisha yenu kulingana na mawazo na hisia za dunia na akasema some of them are angered on human traditions na hali ya dunia hii not on Christ Colossians 2 you can check that I suspect Paul must have been struggling with the people who are really embracing new ways of living Do you know how many pastors are coming from the US hata mkialika wazungu I want to caution you ahead Na nimeona hatu na ibu wanakuja wanatangaza I came with my fifth wife my my ex wife Hawana ibu kwa pulpit You told me we Africans. Kuna vitu hatujawahi kubai. Nikuja huko Mombasa alafu niwaambie nimekuja na mke wangu yule wa pili na bwana ametubariki. And then watu wote wanainua mikono wananishangilia. It's a very interesting world. Very interesting world. So we have new philosophies that are not angered on what is 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 happening. I, I want you to follow me because I'm building a case. Mama yangu zamani she's late. Mama yangu nikidungwa na mwimba nikilisha ngombe Nikikuja nyumbani nikilialia alikuwa anaangalia hiyo mwimba anajua hii si ile ya kutoa anachukua ka kitu anategua tegua kidogo na anachukua vitu fulani na mix na anakupaka na anakuambia na lala tutaonana asubuhi I'm going to ask you watu wa Mombasa munisikilize vizuri I don't at the moment stay kujua kama uko na bitterness kwa ndoa yako lakini munisikize kama tunaweza rekebisha misingi ya ndoa zetu tutakuwa tumetatua shida kubwa sana our economy our churches our ministries our lives our health kuna watu hapa wanakunywa mandawa ya stress you are not supposed to be using it you just need to get the foundation correct na ndawa unaweka kando let me show you why the reason i'm coming to is because we have there is an attack please munisamea kwa maneno haya natumia don't worry about the word kuna ile vitu vinaitwa must yani fundamentals ni ile vitu ambavyo tukiongea mambo yale mengine hiyo usinguze that is who i am so ile vitu ambavyo inatushikilia uhai kwa mfano kujua mwanamke akiolewa ni mke wa mtu si msichana tena those are fundamentals ukizaa mwili wako uwezi kukaa mwili wa msichana tena hata ukifunga na nini you will have to change hormones dictate that several things will change let me tell you what has happened kithoku is of fundamentals ile vitu ki ambao tumejua maishani hii ni heshima those things are under attack by the new notions what has happened kalulu is this kuna vitu vitatu ambavyo vimelengwa na mambo ya kisasa jambo la kwanza ni ukweli the truth is under attack what is truth alafu jambo la pili ni imani faith 
Lazima uelewe nikiongea na nyinyi mambo ya ndoa lazima turudi chini tukaanze kwa mizizi. Nimeona hakuna kitu ngumu dunia hii kusongeana kitana na mwanamume ambaye mwanamke anaomba na mwanamume aombi. Hakuna kitu baya kusongeana na kula mesa na mwanamke na mwanaume ambao hawakomai kwa imani yao kila mtu akona safari yake. Pay attention. I'm going somewhere. Usiachwe. Even those of you following online, usiachwe. Three things and attack. Ukweli umefahamiwa. Imani yetu imefahamiwa na traditions. Jinsi ya kufanya vitu. Zile mambo tumejua. Mwanaume ni mwanaume na haoi mwanamke. Are you guys worried about our sons? Mumeona vijana wetu? Wamesuka nywele? Wameweka hearings? Na wameweka wanakaa exactly how you are looking. In fact, wanaume wetu she's looking nice. Wanaume wetu actually wanawake wetu wamechallenge one of the sons. I'm working with the 12,000 students in the university and sometimes it's difficult to tell which one is a boy sometimes if you are not careful and a woman unless you come closer. Somebody told me fathers are absent. I think I want to ask permission in due time we need to have a special men's meeting for the DCC to talk about men kidogo. Somebody told me ukiona wavulana wetu wanavalia necklaces the person they see every time is the, the person with the necklace the person they see every time ni mwenye amesukwa so as they grow children grow by assimilating what they are seeing 24/7 so the more my son sees mom and asema you look nice and did you know what has happened now i had this recently young men are beginning to say until they identify a woman like their mother awataoa So something has to be done quickly. That's where we are having a problem here. Tango nizaliwe ukienda mali you would know this is a woman, this is a man. Are, you don't even need to struggle. Ukikutana na wao tunasema ah nimekutana na mwanaume na mke. Siku hizi is very difficult. Who is even in the makeup industry? Men are now becoming more leader, leading in the makeup industry. Another amazing situation. So if we all have makeups, now we have makeups. Who is attracting who? Okay. Let me show you one more. So, tukiendelea nataka muelewe kitu. I'm going somewhere with this. The truth about marriage is under attack. The faith, commitment we have about about marriage is under attack. At the same time, sorry. Sorry. That's okay. The commitment we have and then the way we do marriages is under attack. There's something I want to go there and I'm sure Kalol you can see where I'm going with this. There is some pressure. Tuna tumesukumwa kidogo. Wacha niroe kitu kidogo hapa naona kuna watu wanasumbuka na hapa. Is that better? Kuna moja nilikuwa nakuja chini kidogo. Kuna ka pressure tumewekwa bila kujua. Now we are slowly being pushed to revise the truth we have always held tunasukumwa pole pole na ujui pole pole hata nyinyi siku hizi unakuta vijana kwa kanisa wamesukuma nyinyi mpaka mmekuja kuamini amwesi fanye ibada bila worship initially ibada ilitendeka bila worship team ilifanyika lakini with the time msiniangalie mbaya <laughs> with the time imekuwa ni kama mkiingia kanisa mwaweza kwani worship team haiko leo you know norms are changed by other norms without people knowing by the time you realize kumbe hii imekuwa ni kitu when i went to kabrak they would never sing a chorus so one day i was, <laughs> I was leading and mzee came and sat there said kila mtu amekuja kuabudu inua mikono yako juu mzee akainua mikono niliona kanisa lote limeinua mikono juu walikuwa wanaangalia mzee moyo anainua mikono but he came to church I say to myself I can do two things I can stoop ni wapatie nafasi wa enjoy they have come and lose them in the eternity ho ni wapatie nafasi wa enjoy so I just said if you are so free lift up your hands and so mzee moyo like this and I'm like wait a minute so someone does ask me what's happening I told that person there is a way people grow with the certain aspects 
But even when we advance, we must be careful. For example, let me show you. Have you noticed some people can never pray until they sing a song? Lazima wa kamwe, kweta wa kuletia. Kulet. Lazima wa let. Hallelujah. Ndiyo kamwe maombi ifiki. Muna nefuraisha. Ambea mutu tonu ne muna nefuraisha. You know, please don't have an issue with me. I'm simply trying to show you how society gets changed. With this time slowly, vitu fulani vina ingia mpaka na yukuta na we mwenye wa kiomba, lazimo seme, kuna watu wa mataku ima kwa ima. Hallelujah. I love somewhere wa meingililia maombi uko ndani. It wasn't a part of us, but it has come in to look like it's a way. So society has a way of helping you to revise, revisit what you have known. It has a way of helping you to undigest, but there is a lot of pressure. Kindly allow me to explain this word. There is a lot of pressure kuleta ukweli utengemeni nani ana ukweli. Kwa hivyo nikiamua mambo yangu usishungulike ni decision yangu. Mke wangu akiamua ya kanisani na nguo fupi inawahusu nini nyinyi? Nimemwambia mimi aje hivi kwa niaba yangu na sahau kuna niaba yangu na kuna mwili wa Yesu. That's a relativism says collapse all the boundaries and let people be the standard. Huyo akiamua na mke wake leo akuje na kitenge ya inafofote they just come. Na ukimuuliza anasema mke wangu inakuhusu nini? Hiyo ni shida ya relativism. Inasemanga toa mipaka. Now nataka tuende hata ile ingine. I'm trying to build your marriage to see where we have a problem. Because without knowing, even now some of you don't even do a prayer. Unakuta COVID wakati iliingia. Ili introduce a new culture. You can pray when you're in the bed. Now we were teaching university students to cut our work images, our fungui screens. Unaoleza Tom, can you give an answer? Tom anasema anaandika kwa X hapo kuna chatting area, network problem, connectivity problems. Ako kwa kitanda, ako kwa kitanda. Si connectivity, lakini kwa sababu we are tight, we are ticking attendance. Lazima hakikishe screen yake iko on yako on lakini anangorota. Nao kuna wale ambao mulikaa wakati wa covid mukazoea kanisa kumbe ina maana sana. Na kitu ilindoduziwa na covid ni pia kumbe wanaweza kumbe wanaweza kuomba tu ukiwa kwa kitanda. Kumbe wanaweza kuomba ukikula. Have you ever attended part your meetings ambao unakuta mkiongea unasikia mtu wako jikoni kri 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 anakaanga kri 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 na amesahau ku mute. There's a new wave in the market. Please understand what I'm trying to move in. There is a way we are being slowly moved so that even when your husband begins moving with another woman, somehow you are coerced to think it's a normality. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hata hii kipindi na bibi anaoi mama mwingine mwaita bibi msafiri na na hiyo na wewe jamaa lawyer wao. Eh mnawajua wao kina nzulu. Sometimes wako na ideas mzuri. Lakini let me tell you. And they have a lot of attracting because kuna watu wanataka hizo filosofia ambazo zinakaa kama zinafurahisha and it can free me from certain standards i'm seeing this happening so slowly with the time mumeanza kuona kanisani wanaume ameoa mke wa pili tunajua na tunamweka kwa chama tunasema neema inatosha mungu ndiye judge mungu ndiye judge why chana naye tu Mungu anadili naye. Alafu wapi anakuja Mungu anadili na wao. <laughs> Umetoka naye. Wanaongezeka Mungu anadili na wao. And the church seems to be cornered in a way atuwezi kusema utakatifu utaonekana namna gani. Juu we seem to be pushing things to the corner. There is a like pressure kako hapa nje. Na mimi siongeje watoto wenu naongea juu wewe na ndoa yako. If you are not careful unaweza kuta au ka pressure kameanza kusukuma ndoa yenu na mnakosania kitu amujui ni nini. Kumbe kuna kitu kingine inasukuma. Before we go for lunch let me move one more step. So how do we go about uh, resolving that?
So how do we go about resolving that? Nitarudi pale tena. How is this happening? Nile notice inafitumia vitu vitatu. Again follow me because this is very important. What is happening is in our world today kuna vitu vitatu vinatumika na shetani. Filosofia ya kishetani kwanza unaanza na kuharibu kile kilichomo. You deconstruct by questioning. You, you, unajua hiyo lugha pastor wangu. Yaani unaanza na kundestroy. Did the did God really say we must not you are questioning should a man stay with his wife all through you hear the mask in Jesus so kuna njia shetani anatumia ni una haribu alafu una redefine una kipatia another name let me show you one kuna kitu moja imefanyika pasta sio kama umekiona kitu ya bribing police officers wale mko hapa police officers on the road now it has become a normal a norm hata mimi bishop mtuko nikishikwa nasema police unaonaje waje tu mpe tuende alafu naanza kuambia my brother it is the order of the day sasa unajua tutokea hapo atatuweka na tumeendelea safari and with the time it has been normalized to look like it's okay now to part with the money for the officers I hope somebody is following me. That is how truth gets sidelined without pinch. And then that's now in defining. I love wengine watu kesukumia watoto kwa shule hata wazazi tulio hapa we were forced to kuambia principal thank you wakonijukulia mtoto wangu. Ni thank you lakini ni baptized thank you. You were indeed bribing that opportunity. That's what I'm saying. I know I'm not saying something you need to say amen but I must say it. Atari. And then it's progressively now we you deconstruct, you redefine, you erect a new norm, you reconstruct. That's how the devil is working. And I'm doing this because I want you by the time you walk this evening from this house, you must say all forms of deconstructions are shetani ni mesifungia inje ni tainua munara wa Yesu Christo peke yake. That's why I'm trying to help you. Somebody told me if you go to a church na uone wanakuwekelea mikono haraka, suspect them quickly. Toka tunakuwekemea. Before you deal with a demon, understand what is happening in that area because I don't have to fight for demon to go. He lives in me. I'm an authority. I went to Barazani girls. <laughs> And I'm preaching there in the front. Msichana akasimama katikati ya umati. Nikiwa ni, mimi hata niko point ya pili na niko na point tano. Point ya pili. Msichana asimama katikati. Anaenda hivi. Kama kuna mtu mwanaume anishike in the middle of my sermon. You are listening like what happened? It happened. <laughs> Wakati ndugu zangu walienda kumshika, akasema don't touch me wewe. You are part of us. This was real to real. You, know, you have heard my story. In AIC, Melima Nairobi, I preached in front. Mwanamke akatoka kule akakuja mbele yangu kabisa akasimama very smart, nice organized. Akaniambia never preach in this church again on that pulpit. Face to face. The devil can never bear quality. He can never bear spirituality. Okay, was strong in the Lord. The devil will always shout. He will make a movement to tell you it is not well with me. But sometimes I'm finding I'm not saying I'm qualified. I'm finding it very strange that we are getting to a level where sometimes we don't realize who we are in our marriages. There is a level you need to reconstruct and say Jesus, I don't want a new construction. Nilipenda huyu mwanamume, nilipenda huyu mwanamke, tumezaa na yeye, shape yake imepindukia mikononi mwangu. I love her not because of shape, I love something deeper than the frame. That's how we need to be thinking. Especially those of you who are juicy juicy. Chamge bwana. Missing. Ati unataka mama akae size 8. Mbaolo nje iruhusu. Kama ulewa size 8 unataka size 8, utangangana sana. Hata ikaa size 8 tunakuta kuna size 8 lakini size 8 ambao ni twisted. Haitakuwa normal. <laughs> I, I married a very slim young lady, you know her. Very slim. 
I would never knew she would put weight. Tuliangalia photos ya wedding juice tukacheka tukalia kabisa tukaisha. Nikamuuliza ulikuwa umekonda hivi kumbe nimefanya kazi. Do you ever go to your photos zamani muone vile mulianza? Ukitaka kujua umetoka mbali na mpendane saidi enda kwa photos ya zamani. Utaambia mke wako for sure tumete hata kama sipendana atukusikupeni vile likupenda for sure neema imetosha.